Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Gem PC Finals. As always, I am Dan Tartaglione, also known as DTartag1. Joining me today as my co-commentator is the man himself, Mr. Garrett Larson. How you doing today, Garrett? Doing all right. So, getting ready to watch uh, what should be a super competitive, fun match. Like, these guys, you know, Mike and Tom have absolutely proven. It looks like Mike's going dark first. Which is actually what we kind of discussed as a as a plan. And so, so if you're Mike, uh, going dark first, like I think you said it best. Like you want to play something that you know you think that you're going to see with like the the infamous uh, nines deck. Yeah, I, I think and, you... Oh my gosh, this is not a matchup I thought we were going to see. Okay. Now the question is, is this going to be Johnny Chu style hidden base from Worlds or something like uh, Big Guns variant? Like, there's a lot of ways you can go with hidden base, but I mean, the retro event just started yesterday. I didn't know they were going all in on it right now with hidden base <laughs> versus hunt down this is a uh... all right i mean i kind of like it like it, it's not a matchup that a lot of people thought we would see and it looks like okay so mike going with your crush the rebellion they must uh they'll never uh the the mall effect they will There'll be no match for me for you and then the uh, he's also playing uh, You Cannot Hide Forever and Mobilization Points, whereas Tom is going with Hidden Base, Walkling, A New Secret Base V, and then Instruction and Aim High. This is, I love it. This is different. I, I didn't expect either one of these decks, and I'm kind of digging it. Like, it's Crush V, which is kind of, but for non-V Hunt Down, I feel like that, that one's a little bit of a surprise to me. Like, I love non-virtual Crush in hunt down just because you want to run vader you want to run maul and i have you now is just so good in there mm -hmm. so but he's i'm actually running, it's crush v so yeah and i'm a little surprised to see rendily come down simply because you got to assume tom's going to be dropping systems and like hidden base and he's thrown down mustafar as well is this yeah this is weird I don't even know what Mike's doing here. I like no, it. Insane. This is fun. And dropping Kendall's favorite card. If you uh, spend, I think it goes through this week, if you take a picture of yourself playing Star Wars out in uh, the real world where people are, you can get yourself a foil copy of the Mustafar private platform mm -hmm. during uh, Play Star Wars CCG Live Week. I know I saw you were out, uh, was it yesterday, playing I... in a uh, tournament uh, out in Pittsburgh? Yeah, so yesterday was... Oh, let me grab my thing over here. Uh, yeah, yesterday was a Pittsburgh local, and uh, I played in it. Uh, Kendall was there, uh, both Matt and uh, uh, Justin Carulli were there. I don't know why I just threw him that. Um, That's... So it, it was a fun event. Um, the Crowley Brothers were there. Sean Dixon. Uh, I don't know if, if you're familiar with him. He's Sean D plus numbers on Gemp. Uh, and then Eric Hawbaker were there. So we had seven people, which was nice. a pretty solid event. Uh, I think I came in second to last, going two and two. I mean, that actually shows a great amount of priority. With you know, two and two drops you in the bottom. Like that means everybody mm -hmm. was playing playing everybody so yeah Mike just and it was really funny the because and draws a few there yeah i like that okay there goes ray all the jedi off the top for tom all right mike loses emperor palpatine off the top hmm. so very interesting deck i'm kind of wondering if this might be tom throwing down some variant of like a hidden mains platform mm-hmm you know, like seeing Ray go like that, that's that Ray is never going into space. Yeah. So uh, I'm wondering if this is with the insurrection aim high, he might be trying to just, yeah, throw down a little bit of a hidden mains, pull a system, you know, maybe potentially flip later. But 
I'm still I'm still real confused about what both of them are doing. <laughs> I know, I love it. Okay, and, and so we see Kifix and Mandalore or Malachor coming out. Yeah, so I think he is. Yeah, I don't think he's doing a you know an old school non flip hidden mains because there'd be no reason to put down drain two systems mm -hmm. if that was the case. Although, okay, Camino from the I sand. love the Malachor potentially messing with Vader. Like if he gets a Phoenix Squadron character there, like it actually could screw around with the Vader. I like that. So, yeah, while you control with a Phoenix Squadron character, Vader's in power minus two, weapon destinies are minus two. And Tom just picking a few up after he drops four systems, or three systems. Three systems. Out of the deck. This is... Y'all are just going to keep hearing, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> like... This is isn't not that the, like the best kind of Star Wars? You have no idea what your opponent is doing. This is neither one of these decks were necessarily on my radar. So Mike loses a Dark Time from Rebellion Virtual out of hand. I don't. And there goes a, they're tracking us from the reserve deck for Tom. They're taking them with us. Okay, so Tom maybe is running some sort of big capital ship guns. Like that's the Admiral's order, but. Like, Mm -hmm. capital starship armed with a weapon they draw one if not able to otherwise and at sites related to systems you occupy your non-pilot warriors are really good like you saw that in play a little bit with no idea as a almost win more card because most of those little guys in no idea are yeah. uh, fall into that uh, category Okay, Mike's going to go get Private Platform. He grabs the course on Private Platform. Interesting. Jane Epp in text is also like, I don't know what's going on. Okay, there's Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith, going down to the do uh, the docking bay. It is a Private Platform, so he is able to grab it with Crush the Rebellion V, and it is a Battleground, so pretty solid. Uh, yeah, like, and and now he's just drawing a few. Like, I, I'm still. You're still perplexed. Yeah, but like, I'm I'm just sort of waiting. Okay, Tom, Mike draws up to fourteen. I feel like he's going to stop there, but now he next should. turn he's got fourteen cards in hand, and he's going to have twenty plus force to yeah work with. Like something's. Something's gonna go on here. I just don't know what yet. I'm okay. There's hit and run there's... from the lost pot, uh, from the reserve deck for Tom, and that's a card I would expect to see. Like based on what I'm seeing, I, I feel like Tom's running something with the you know ships, you know some sort of cor corvettes with guns mm -hmm. type of setup, or maybe Mon Cal's with guns. I just don't know where he's going. That Ray has me perplexed. perplexed. I think that's the word just of the day today. She's straight, re re straight retrieval. Mm -hmm. Like if you mix up with her and Luke and just kind of stay on top of it. But yeah, I'm you know. Okay, there's Nar Shada. and using a new secret base to pull Castle. Castle. So that's what five systems right now for him. So he's got five deployed, which means he can flip at any time now. Yep, there's a spaceport, spaceport docking bay going down on to Kessel. Kessel. Interesting. Well, that would make sense if he's, you know, with the taking them with us, and there's Naboo from hand, with the taking them with us, you just want to load Kessel and mm -hmm. then load that spaceport docking bay. It's more expensive for Mike to deploy there. Leia's resistance it's transport. Not a huge shock. I mean, if you're playing space, that should basically be an auto-include. Yeah. Notice it, it'll either go get you Ray or yeah, they get some somebody Ray, like all the Jedi. Holdo. Notice so Tom has not pulled his grabber yet. Yeah. That's a little bit of a surprise. So. So now if he takes off with 
Leia's transport. He can't drain at Kessel because it'll flip Pump Down back to the seven side. But I sure don't want to leave that Ray sitting alone. A bar Gwen. There's a bear Gwen. Okay. I mean, that would make sense if you're running ship guns. He's a solid... You know, you're, you're you're playing a grind game with hidden base at that point. You might only be trying to drain for a couple and mm -hmm. just retrieve out what they can do. Take the Bergwin and it'll shuttle, or it'll take off with the transport, leave Ray behind. I mean, I don't know what Tom's got in hand, but I don't like any of that play. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing here, but like Mike put out two systems, so he's got to have some sort of space floating in the deck. And that rebel transfer, that resistance transport is doing nothing, although I mm -hmm. could definitely see him. I, I could see Tom playing something like a spiral and having some reactability there. Yeah, and he does save seven. Uh, he loses an intruder missile off the top. Uh, Mike loses uh, sniper dark strike as well. Okay, so intruder missiles are the might be the weapon of choice. He's rolling, which I mean, it's Tom, so a bunch of sevens is right yeah. on brand. Yeah, it's very <laughs> fitting for Tom. But that one doesn't shock me at all. So Mike's still in his activate. Yep, we're waiting to see if Tom. Okay. So Tom pulls the battle plan. Which makes sense. Right now, he's got the sight and system. I just, I don't know if he's going to have them after this turn. Uh, you got to think like we already. Oh. What just happened? Uh, Chrome just shut down on me for a second. I don't know what. Happened. Say something on your end because I'm watching. So Mike pays three to drain for one at the platform. He pays the three to drain for one, but I mean, and Tom could easily have just flipped and canceled the drain. Yeah, but like Tom would have had to have flipped though, and then Mike would have known to if he wanted to pay three or not. Mm -hmm. So like, Tom might be sitting on one more system. Don't know. I mean, like episode one or uh, special edition Coruscant is one I always think it's underused as a hidden base system because it's just so punishing mm -hmm. if they don't come after you you just plop a guy there and be like all right everybody's deployed plus two good luck and we just saw that tom left the room okay wonder if he's might be having a smidge of internet trouble i know i watched your uh, hollow theater this week on uh, i mean i watched it on youtube because tuesdays are bad for me but I know he was having a little bit of internet. Yeah, that's a good connectivity point. issues. There, so. Okay, Tom is yeah, back. Tom is I mean, back. he was able to put it onto a, like a, a hot spot or something, but. Yeah, and that may be where he ends up going. I'm. Yeah, I'm still really curious. Like, Mike's got to have the cards to do something. And he certainly got the force to do something. Okay, there's Dark there's a Maul lone, lone hunter. hunter, and uh, there'll be no match for you. Can go get Maul's saber, which is, mm -hmm. I mean, and it's not in there. I was gonna say he's only got seven cards in there. Like I'm yeah. almost surprised he didn't. Well, he might not have had another search. Could he have searched with Crush? Uh, yeah, I mean, he could have used Crush to try and drop mm -hmm. Devastator first. Okay, there's there's the Phantom, Phantom Menace. Menace, though, so he's going to be immune against Ray. And Tom um, using Baragwin to get back that concussion missile he lost. And that might be why Tom didn't flip. If he's got anything, like, the Drain of One is basically nothing. Mm -hmm. And I'll find Drain Me for One, I'll lose a card and Baragwin it back. Like, I'll just yeah. cycle my High Destinies from hand into deck. It's like a super less effective 3PO, but it'll get, you know, those sevens floating back in there. I mean, Mike's still got 12 in hand, 12 force. And he will initiate. There's, it's a trap from Tom. 
Yep. Which makes sense. I mean, that was Tom, and Tom might have been sitting on a uh, alternatives to fighting, or like a hit and run for up in space as well. Yeah. Just to, you know, he he was probably sitting on tricks, and Tom's a good enough player to know he's got to have those. But like, there's cancelers for those. So there are. But again, we don't yeah. know what Mike is playing at this point. Like, were you expecting hunt down with? There, there'll be no match for you, V. Or, or, like, uh, you know, no, that down. was uh, that that was not what I was expecting. But at the same time, like, hunt down with a Jedi hunter in Maul who can relocate to mm-hmm. if they try and flip. Like, it makes a lot of sense. It, yeah. It's not what I was expecting, but it's not. The, the theory craft behind it is strong. Like, yes. oh, you want to avoid where I doom stack with uh, Vader? Well, here comes Maul with double bladed that you can't stop. And yep, Dylan saying Tom flipped before Mike started drawing, which really just, okay, so Mike's got to pay two to draw his two. He was only going to draw a couple just to avoid the mm-hmm. shield popping him. And I wonder if Mike's just his hand is not what he wants right now. And this could be, he could be struggling here. So, cause he's going to eat a drain of three. And yeah, Tom's going to retrieve it, that. And Tom's just retrieving with Bargwin at this point. Um, yeah. Timo in the chat points up. That was a good flip there. Yeah. I, I agree. Making Mike pay cards to draw a card is really strong. Okay. It does retrieve the concussion missile that he lost to the visage. And I think I think Tom is probably accurately guessing Mike does not have a ship in hand right now. Mm-hmm. And just trying to push that as hard as he can. The exchange is steady aim for an intruder missile in his hand. Which I think is really good because then at the end of the turn when he loses to Visage, he can just lose the intruder missile mm-hmm. and then retrieve it with the Baragwin. Yeah. But, like, and... that's a. Okay, that's does... solid. So he does drain. Mike loses P59. Blizzard 4. Blizzard 4 from reserve. Force Lightning. So Mike's got 13 cards in hand. He must really like them. I just. Yeah. Like, I feel like he would have done more that last turn than simply maul and nothing. Yeah. And Tom will retreat with Ray as well. Mike's going to have to do something about Ray or that Baragwin or both. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the It's a Trap will go out of play. And he'll retrieve yeah. Hit and Run. Run. And I think that's the right call to put the it's a trap out of play. You're more likely to get with hunt down. You're more likely to get that space beat down in mm-hmm. or that ground beat down in. You want to force him off ground. I'm going to get in another docking bay. Oh, he's just checking out, seeing what's in his deck. But the uh, docking bay, especially if it's a battleground, he can just docking bay transit with Ray. Yep. But he can do. That's the thing is, if he docking bay transits with Ray. <laughs> That's cute because Maul just no match for them's right in front of her. Oh, during your opponent's control phase. So you have to do it in oh, the it's yeah. opponent's control? Oh, yes. Okay, there's well, a B Wing attack fighter. But that'll also be able to stop the drain, if nothing else. Yeah, but that's what it's saying. Like, it just stops the drain, and then Tom just runs away, and he's flipped, so he just cancels the drains. Like, it's a good I strategy. mean, this is Hunt Down, though. If Tom, if Mike can't take three battlegrounds yeah mike's doing something wrong and that's what tom does he does docking bay transit ray over and brings the b-wing attack fighter up not a phoenix squadron character so he's not gonna not not gonna mess with vader that way although i would be i will say if he figures out a way to throw like ezra drops in an ezra and throws it on there i will 
giggle. Yeah. That, Quite I, a bit. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, but so yeah, I'm... While we're going to be in Mike's uh, activation phase here, why don't we go ahead and give away a Jimp AI booster pack to the first player in the chat who can tell me all the Parsec numbers of all the systems on the table. Okay, Mike loses force field from his hand. Tom loses intruder missile from his hand. Which he's just going to bear going back. Because he's sitting on nine force saved. Like... Mike's got to do something here because Tom's kind of got a lock in place right now. I think Chris has uh, got it there. Oh, no, Chris does not have it. Yeah, Chris does not have it yet. That's design advocate can't <laughs> even uh, appropriately number the things. Three, five for Naboo, six for Malachor, oh. seven, seven, eight, and... 13. Uh, JNAP wins his uh, bo booster pack. Yeah. <laughs> JNAP, who definitely doesn't have Gemp booster packs, wins, I know. A, uh, wins a booster pack. So Maul gets his lightsaber, which unless Mike finds a way to probe a hidden base, yeah, ain't gonna do him much good. Like... Because the Visage grind is not a grind right now. Your, your normal... The normal way Hunt Down would be running this is trying to just heavy grind with Visage, keep Visage mm -hmm. rolling, keep that grind going, and with the Baragwin... Okay. And there's, right, so, there's a ship. Which is good, but like... And Tom barriering it, which yeah. makes sense. Grabs the barrier. Also makes sense in the I mean hunt down that's the that's one of the cards you want to grab, but you saw mm -hmm. already the stay sharp and some of the other space gun shenanigans that's likely gonna come down. So probing Camino right away. And does and not look like, like that was the, not uh, it the base. Okay, we do have an Emperor on there. Papa Palpatine going on to his personal shuttle, which is stuck at Camino, but actually it's not a terrible... No, I mean, it's a Drain 2 system. Um, but like we were saying, okay, there's Dooku. Uh, we saw him bait out the barrier, kind of. Yep. First strike. And... Which will get him back the force field. Which I don't think is a terribly important card here but just the damage keep that damage going and even if he hits or traps it here he's costing him cards so yep there's the first strike damage Mike will retrieve one Tom will have to lose here there goes a sense in recoil and fear in, from his hand and there's another, it's a trap. So he has to pay four for that. Which is fine. I mean, he's, he had half a million saved. Like, that's not a, yeah, that's not a huge issue, but it again sticks Tom in the position of needing to do something here because now all three battlegrounds have Dark Jedi mm -hmm. sitting at them. Mike pulls resistance, so that way he'll only lose two to the drain at Kessel. Yep. Which is good, but he's still... I mean, Tom's still ahead right now. Yes. But there's a lot of game left to go, but Tom's in a real good spot, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's right draining for four next turn. He's retrieving a lot, but his biggest issue is he's leaving and coming back from uh, the room. Yeah. <laughs> Tom is so confident that he can win. He's just stepping out for a, you know, 
Tom, Tom's just stepping out for a quick break. Quick smoke break. Yep. Smoke if you got him. And Mike's paying to draw a few here. Okay, Tom's going to use the walkling, placing it out of play to retrieve the It's a Trap. Which makes sense because it's not like either of them need to generate fours. I just looked up Tom can, or Mike can generate 30 force next That's turn. That's insane. That, that is a absolutely nutty amount. Like, Tom's at 19 and he's getting force choked comparatively. Like, <laughs> Tom can activate most of his deck and he's just, <laughs> just staring at Mike going, gosh, if I could only activate 10 more. <laughs> So Visage hitting both players here, which I'm assuming... We, oh, there all wings all off the wings top, so... In from the top, yeah. Did not get a Baragwin. Did not get Baragwin bait. No. So, now we have an interesting question. Does Mike move Maul in front of Ray? Giving her or a place you, to run? Yeah, which gives Ray a spot to run, or do you stare her down with Dooku because I can't imagine Tom's got that much more to go nuts with on the ground mm -hmm. and Mike loses Lana Dobry uh, sacrifice from his hand um I don't love losing that from hand I don't necessarily hate it but it feels yeah. like Tom's deck might be doing some reacting shenanigans at some point. Yeah, you got to think about it. And, like, I don't know what else is in Mike's hand, but that feels like a card I might have prioritized keeping at least for a little while longer just to see if something was going to happen. Okay, he'll uh, use mobilization points to get an indoor Death 2 effect. So he grabs himself a special. Uh, special plan for them to be. Against Tom, having a multitude of grabbers always feels like a good thing. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and, and it's not like both these players aren't familiar with each other. They both played in the PC20 event finals last year, so... Yeah, I, I think they're... I think both players kind of know each other and know what they're getting. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think in this case, Tom, I think they both threw a curveball, but I think Tom's oh, curveball yeah. is a whole lot curvier. And there goes Tom. Prince Cheezor, Gick combo. Uh, Gick and those rebels want to escape us. Darth Vader, Darth Lord of the Sith, and a point man. So he loses three out of the four from his deck, so he still likes his nine-card hand. Yeah. I, it's also getting more cards in hand is going to be harder. Yeah. Between having to pay to drain. Oh, and Mike cuts his activation by uh, pitching that uh, you can't hide forever. I mean, he's down to 27. I'm not sure he can. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I guess if you want to play cheap cards, that'll work. But I mean, um, he's he's able to he's generating more than what's in his deck at this point. Yeah don't we always do that like i mean only when you're a bad player and you lose like half your stuff <laughs> so okay so tom is retrieving with ray he retrieves ray all the jedi losing taking, taking them, them with, with us. us i'm i don't necessarily like retrieving the ray because if you can get rid of her placing her out of play is really good yeah, like I, I'm a little surprised he didn't place Ray out of play there because that would have made things interesting at least. So there's a there's concussion missiles on a blue, blue squadron, squadron B wing and a concussion missile and no barrier or anything from Mike, which I, I mean uh, it's okay. Tom will initiate. Kind of looking like somebody's getting shot down here. Yeah. And he retrieves the All Wings combo. Mike has to lose one of his own card. He'll lose Force Push V. Which is not a huge, uh, mm -mm. not a huge loss. I mean, I, I just don't think that card's gonna really come into play much. Okay, Tom will fire the concussion missile. 
And adding steady aim two, to add two, so, so he needs to draw a two. Two or higher, yeah. Like, oh, wow. Draws oh, the no, one. That's a five. It doesn't matter because the B squadron. Oh, yeah, you're the right. The blue squadron viewing adds two. I'm like, why did it say five? I just... Tom plays good cards that, you know, do things all of us forget because yeah. <laughs> who the hell uses B wings and guns? <laughs> so, oh, and it was plus one with the, uh, the concussion was somebody at plus one as well. So, yeah, each of its all weapon right, so... are plus two. So that's, yeah. Ugh. So he was hitting no matter what when he added two yeah. and then hit and run, <laughs> hit to run. run away. Oh, oh. Oh, that, that, that's uh, dirty. So I'm, dirty. I don't think Mike likes Tom right now. No, <laughs> Just, I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. And so now, if Mike's got like a no escape in hand, that would be interesting as he makes sure to lose it so the shuttle's on top. Mm -hmm. But even no escape's not gonna help because he's gonna lose one to Visage. Yeah. So he can't get it back. Uh, I'm. And Tom's just drawing. So yeah, I think he figures Dooku's the least threatening person to leave Ray in front of. I think you're right. Um, I mean, Tom, uh, Mike would need a seven to get choke Ray. So you could theoretically put her in front of Vader. Uh, he does have the lower immunity, so you could at least get yeah. Vader. But you run again; you run the risk of losing Ray. And you don't really care about getting rid of Vader. But like honestly, Tom's so far ahead here right now, and in such a frankly dominant position mm -hmm. that I don't think he's worried about much of anything i think it's no. right now i think mike's only hope in this game is if he's got a some sort of way to just overflow ray and i gotta assume tom's sitting on another it's a trap mm -hmm. yeah he saved six okay there's another okay so he shuttle. had another shuttle from hand no response yet from tom Oh, and no response at all from Tom. So he's going to be able to probe. He's going to be able to probe two systems here. Yeah. And he misses on that probe. There's the grabber that we saw him go get with uh, something special. So what's he got left to probe? Kifix, Naboo, and Malachor. I don't think you can put him. I don't think you can move him to Naboo because that's no. where the guns are. Although at the same time, that would be the most likely spot to put it i would have preferred to see him put it at naboo make tom have the barrier yeah i'm and then run away but if tom has the barrier by putting it at naboo you completely obliterated the shuttle yeah but like mike initiates and... with dooku yeah, Mike uh, Turner saying he's got a another it's a trap, and I'm sure he does. That that's but that's all you you just want to keep forcing those out. Yep, and there it is. There's another it's a trap. Yep. You know, but the it's a trap it means that Tom effectively lost two to that battle because he lost one for the start and the one day it's a trap. Mm -hmm. And he grabs the itch trap, so. So he can eventually stop that, but I don't know if he's got time to. That's the biggest issue. He does. I don't think he has that. The time. Like he's about to take six force damage. Tom's going to retrieve a few, and then the, dis the visage on top of that. And moving the shuttle to Kifix, which makes sense. I think you have to try and. Mm -hmm. You know the shuttle empty like that. Unless Mike's got a gick that you can't move it in front of either of the B-Wings. No. Like, without a gick, you're just asking for... And Mike's going to pay to draw a few here. Yeah. 
Right now, life force counts are 25 for Tom and 14 for Mike. And then Mike's got eight in hand to Tom's five. So total force is 30 to 22, which is just not a... Mike's in a tough spot here. Yeah. You know, and I think we we talked a little bit as we were starting that Mike goes with Dark Side here first because then at least he knows what he needs to do against nines. I think he, mm-hmm. he is probably putting Tom on on nines. But beating nines by 20 plus is going to be, I don't know. Tom does lose a Honchu in the Falcon V. Mike loses Kier Kanos V. But now we have Ray retrieving. Yep. Let's see what Ray picks here. Okay, so, it's a trap. We'll go out of play. Which I think is solid. There's no point in giving mm-hmm. him back the it's a trap. What is Tom getting back? Hit and run. Hit and run. Yeah, I think I'd get rid of the it's a trap ahead of the hit and run. Mm-hmm. But like... At this point, what Mike needs to do is find the hidden base so he can start draining on the ground. Yeah. And just try and push through as much damage as he can and just make it, get it as close as he can because you're not. (laughs) At this point, you're not winning, I don't think. Okay, there goes a force field and a restraining bolt from hand. Tom's so, saying that Mike is a jerk for some reason. Maybe, maybe for the multiple restraining bolts. Well, he had one. He retrieved it with the... Uh... Oh, that's true. Well, but he wouldn't have gotten it back in hand. So, yeah, he is run, running at least two restraining bolts. Okay, so force push like... and a maul from top of reserve. Mm-hmm. Mike's only got six cards in hand, or five cards in hand. There's a Dre and Panda and Mara with Saber from top, like... Mike's down to only 10 cards in, life in the force, field. Yeah. Like, this is... This is going to be tough, and... Tom... I think did a search just to see what his destiny were. Mm-hmm. There's a medium a... bulk freighter. No probe yet from Mike. So I think, it, you know, Dooku's fully immune, or he's immune to less than eight, so. Yeah. Kind of waiting for the probe from Mike. There's another, I think those are just forfeit fodder at the docking mm-hmm. bay. Like, they're not adding anything to the power, but they get the forfeit, and it keeps Ray alive. Mike's or maybe saying, he's oh, going to fly the other barrack went up. <laughs> Why am I a jerk? <laughs> Uh, he'll pros. probe, and Tom yeah, does Tom. say the double bolt. Okay, Givix has okay. been probed. This is, uh... Did he uh, get it there, or is that why everything no. slowed down for a second? No. Nope. So we're... I don't see a weapon on that B-Wing. Yeah. I mean, Tom is down to two cards in hand. Like, yeah. (laughs) Mike accurately pointed out those bolts aren't really doing much, so. Yeah, he initiates a fight against the Emperor's shuttle. I mean, the thing is, the Emperor's shuttle's down by three power already, so if you're Mike, are you going to lose three, or are you going to lose the shuttle? I think you have to peel the three just so you can move the shuttle and try and get one more probe in there goes bb 9e and rapid fire to oh. get a weapon so doesn't matter the shuttle's gonna go down in flames yep no oh yeah there's the concussion missiles so. yeah yeah see and that's where the i was talking about keeping the sacrifice uh, i guess that doesn't uh rapid fire doesn't say it's a react it's yeah. a battle just initiated yeah so 
Oh yeah, it can't be a react. It's a five it's... becomes a seven, so goodbye shuttle. And are you gonna? I almost think you don't hit and run here. You're just fine. Yeah. Keep the shuttle like, keep your drain at Kiffix. Going for next turn, like. I I'm. I'm. This was not the matchup I expected to see. And Tom's gonna comfortably win. Like Tom's gonna be up by upwards of twenty fours. Yeah. But this is gonna be a tough. That next game is gonna be a tough for Mike. I, I do think Mike is not the type to just concede it, though. I don't think. I know, especially after his game with Kieran in the Kieran in the top four, where it was the entire match was over in 15 minutes, was I think a little bit of a surprise to everyone involved. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I don't. He fights with love. Uh, Tom starting this battle. Do -do. I guess maybe he gets one back, and but like if he draws, if Mike draws high. He's losing maybe the Baragwen, who I I guess there's no weapons in Lost Pile. There's no real yeah, there's, music. He's only got three cards in his Lost Pile at this point. Yeah. And he did see the Force Push go away, because that actually yeah. could have been real bad if Mike had been running a second Force Push to just push Ray out of there and, mm -hmm. you know. I guess it wouldn't even that be that big a deal. He'd just cost him the site. Like, draw Battle Destiny, and you're up by 10 or so, and all right, fine, forfeit the Baragrin, forfeit both ships, and call it a day. Yep. So. For, for playing against Hunt Down, Mike Five. is very low on ground power yeah. floating out right now. Like... And wait to see what Mike's not going to draw Destiny. Mike chooses not to draw and is instead just going He's to going to peel. peel cards, which makes sense. You leave Dooku there. Um, kind of expect to see he. Well, he's not even going to drain. Might activate all of it and then battle with Dooku just to get one more force loss through. Yeah. And then again, peel to whatever goes. Is Tom, I guess there's no point in not landing a guy. Like, Mike's got seven cards left total, and he's going to. He'll be at six after this, which means if Tom gets another round of drains in, he's dead either way. Mm -hmm. Mike peels a card off the top. I think Mike's just going to lose his force. Yeah, and he's trying to minimize the number of cards in Lost Pile. Yeah. Here, yeah, so he's keeping the cards in hand. And I would say what's he... nice is, I mean, Mike's going to have two cards in his Force Pile here. or It's like he can't draw up. Yeah. But Tom doesn't, re I mean, Tom can retrieve with Ray, but like I said, I expect Tom will battle, or I expect Mike will battle here. And ping the force loss. And then... I don't know. Yeah, because Tom has no cards in his hand at this point. Yep. And... So, like, if Tom declines to draw here, Mike is down one in power... He loses the one from used pile and then pays one to draw sure. one yeah. and loses to Visage. Yep. So at this point, Tom might as well draw. Yep, and I think Tom yep. might have done the math on that as well. So there's a six. Because by forcing that, he's actually going to put an extra couple cards in Lost Pile. Yeah. 
you know, because Tom will, or Mike will lose those three cards instead of ending up with one of them in hand. I mean, he could just lose Dooku here. And yeah, still but do the, that. No, because he's got to get rid of the card in used pile. But basically, oh, I mean, he right, could lose yeah. the card in used pile and then lose Dooku and then draw one and lose to Visage and be in exactly the same boat. Yeah. Although he may do, actually, he might do that just to get the one more visage loss. For Tom. For Tom. Yeah. So he loses the, yep, Tom is saying the internet's popping Yeah, he out. just loses everything. So Tom okay. will take game one by 25. Ooh, that is uh, 25 and Mike's got 36 in lost. That's... Uh, that's going to be a struggle. This was not the deck I expected either of them to play necessarily, but like the hunt down, I like the idea of the hunt down. There's a lot of synergy there with being able to move the move Vader and stuff in front of Jedi. I think that mm -hmm. light side was just the anti mains. Like that light side was just a, Frustrating battle, and I know if he'd put him on, like, Invasion, that light side would give an Invasion a ton of trouble. Oh, yeah. Because if you shoot down the battleship, Invasion's just sort of dead, as I found out in a Bespin match <laughs> earlier this week when uh, Logan played a Defiance with a bunch of guns, and I was playing Invasion and went, well, I don't think I can win this match. So, and I couldn't. But, yeah, like, I think... I think Tom played the, pulled the right meta call there with that deck. You know, that deck looks really obnoxious and frustrating. Yeah. To 100%. play. Okay. So it looks, looks like, like they're they got ready with game two. two so rolling. let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'm assuming Tom's going to be on Rops 9s. Yep. Oh, oh no, he's not. Rops 9s. Not Rops 9s. Or not Rops 9s. Uh... Revenge course, of the Sith. Uh, Maul, yeah, Revenge of the uh, probably. Slip sliding away, shenanigans. Oh. With... Yeah. Oh no! So not even Revenge of the Sith. Just Jabba's Palace nines. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's right now. It's Jabba's Palace sevens. He doesn't even have <laughs> an entire legion out. Like I'm not. Yeah. I'm not sure this is actually Tom. <laughs> I, I don't see an entire legion of my best troops i'm all right which one of you guys stole tom's deck he's gonna be very Jerry. confused right now so tom activates doesn't pull his grabber shield right away which you know mike gets his rebel leadership i'm assuming mm -hmm. for admiral oh, radis okay yeah yeah, makes sense. Because he'll get General Cal and General Leia with strike planning. Okay, there's a grabber from Tom. Yeah. He's Might been floating Legion. I... Floating that. I mean... He might just draw sevens then. Why, mm -hmm. why, why would you even play a deck if all you're drawing is sevens? Uh, because... Why not? <laughs> apparently he floats sevens are good, apparently. Deck. I know. <laughs> that's uh this might just be the it deck they all float down here so <laughs> we all float down here okay he gets the Javis Palace audience chamber with his uh, Javis Palace site and just Javis Haven to go fetch now no, Huda no. yeah And I'm assuming this is just going to be let's send big guys at at Jakku and yeah. see what happens. Everybody wants to get down to Jakku. There's Forlom with concussion rifle V. Forlom V going to Jakku is all right. Um.
gangsters and scavengers to play minus one is he he's not even for those thief information broker and bounty hunter so i don't yeah and he's just gonna start drawing i don't love uh for there i guess if he gets bolted he's easier more likely to be able to kill him in battle there than if you had him at one of the other sites i guess that's Tom draws everything. Mike's going to start his strike planning stuff. Gets general Leia. And I'm betting general Cal here with the mm -hmm. second one. Oh, shocker. <laughs> I do like the old allies play either way from Mike. I think this is a deck that has handled Rops nines before and Mike knows he can play it against it. Yeah. And gives him a chance you know i don't know if 25 is gonna 25 is such a big number but it is i mean mike is certainly capable of getting there so okay, getting out of jakku location with old allies probably the uh raise huts if you yeah. can just to you know, the one thing you know against Tom is you're going to be able to activate enough. Tom's going to put down locations. Yep, there's Ray's encampment. Is he going to go fetch Ray? Oh, probably not right away. He'll throw down General Cal first just to... Yeah, and Admiral Radis. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Radis doesn't affect the use pile pull, though. Cal yeah. gives him four more cards to pull. Like this seems like it's going to be a pretty straightforward, straightforward start. So, so what do we think the uh, activation is going to max out here for each player? I mean, we saw Mike potentially able to activate thirty last uh, game. Do you I think mean, either of them are going to be able to top twenty? Ooh, that's going to be rough. I think Mike might be able to because he gets once the plus he flips. With... Like, he gets all those bonuses with uh, a Brave Resistance. Yeah, I can but see I'm, that. I'm not sure. Okay, add a Ratters to pull a Krillian Corvette. Uh, he goes and puts Leia back to get Finn. Which is, a, I mean, pretty standard start. So he's going okay. Poe. Poe onto the Falcon. Onto the Falcon right away. That's... And going and getting Ray. I mean, it's a immune to attrition, less than five. You get an extra destiny. So it kind of makes sense. Yeah, but I mean, it's going to be, it was immune to four with yeah. Ray piloting. I, my, what I don't like about that is it also only gives him ability six in the case of Zuckus and Mist Hunter. Mm hmm. Like, and. That's the oh. Okay, so maybe he has Radis as a pilot. Going crazy aggro here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I do think you kind of have to be aggressive to win. Yeah. But like, you're not winning Let's this game by over. trying to turn it into a into a slog. Yeah. So you play the super aggressive pound damage through because tom tends to want to set up a little bit mm -hmm. so you do that you get this going and you know potentially drain for three or four next turn if tom doesn't have what he wants to come after you if there's a force push from tom well that's not going to help things for uh no. mike <laughs> the, not, the whole tom mike, doesn't have like... what he wants Tom's Mike's got what he not wants now. looking good right now. Uh, I'm, I assume Mike's sitting on something like a barrier, and he can mm -hmm. actually... Finn de would deploy as a react for free at either location. Yes. Which would be fancy, and I'm sure he's got the Destiny Adder. Like, But up in space, like you, your Destiny, even if you have the Adder, is still zero. Yeah, I, I don't think he... If he drops Zuckus, oh. that's a problem. 
Darth Vader, Dar uh, Emperor's Enforcer coming down. There's a barrier. Yep. Tom will grab it. I think that makes sense. I'm not sure what else you're super worried about. In oh. This. oh, and the sense. Oh. Whew. And Mike's, I think, thinking about grab or uh, yeah, Mike's thinking about grabbing the sense. Oh, there's a zero. All right. Well, I'm not sure that's a huge issue. I mean, like, yeah, I understand. Is, she's immune less than uh, six right now. Yeah, and he's not can't he can't cancel Ray's text. Tom playing and it's not a show for it. Oh. Interesting. Are we going to see some sort of garrison shenanigans? I mean, Vader is a leader. Take Stormtrooper Patrol, Trooper Davin Felt, and, and Sergeant Major Sir Bursk. Yeah. What I mean, the heck is. Go oh, Timo in the chat points it out. Dark Jedi present. Yeah. This could get uh, this could get spicy. Yeah. Um, so Tom's might be Trooper playing Assault, Dark Jedi presence. Yeah. And just uh, Ed Sheen is saying in the chat, "Oh man, is this a fake out Trooper Assault deck?" <laughs> oh, if it is, I love it. I mean, Sergeant, it's a Sergeant Elsk. Trooper Devin fell. Here we go. Oh gosh! Uh, I don't even into Dark Jedi presence for the win right away. This would uh... Sergeant There's... Major Bursk. Bursk is. Uh... I mean, you could yeah, because you can uh, battle for free and miss. Well, that means he's not getting Jedi present. Dark Jedi no, presence here. Still, even with a like, even if even with the trooper, trooper assault, assault this here, is. Like, I mean, with the like trooper doesn't... assault, you're probably losing Vader because I gotta imagine he's gonna react with the free yeah. Finn. And there's Finn, and Tom's got no way to grab. Oh, oh. Atlanta dope free combo. I, I mean, oh. I'm sorry, Mike. I'm sorry, Mike. I hope you have <laughs> the hijinks. So I I don't even know what to say here. Like that's a and Sergeant, Sergeant Whalen. Whalen. I, I'm man trooper, trooper assault. assault. Oh my gosh! Um, and the power minus one just for giggles. Like, if you're gonna do this, why not? Yeah. That's Tom. Yeah, uh... Mike's not scooping. So, I mean. He might have the Hujix. He's just yeah. There's full scale alert for Destiny of Three, so it's thirty to three. I mean, a Destiny of Three. Tom might just feel a little dirty right there. Like Tom doesn't like drawing threes. This is Mike also draws a three. So he's only down twenty four. So it's oh, Ray and seventeen. Oh no, he's down twenty three. Excuse me. So oh. Ray and sixteen. That's uh. It's survivable. Or just 23 peeled. I mean, Ray is technically immune. <laughs> I mean, if Mike just peels 23 here and leaves Ray, I'm going to smile far more than is reasonable. Like, <laughs> there's the... Mike concedes. Oh, There's the concede. That was... That was not... Uh, neither deck was what I expected from Tom. No. That's an interesting... Uh, Interesting meta choice to come in and basically play two very off meta decks that were not, I don't think necessarily on anybody's radar. No, like everybody, put, you can imagine everybody was putting Tom on like some sort of nine stack and yeah. just the amount of troopers we saw there just dropping down on Ray. That oh. was, uh, that was fun to see. Like, I mean, it's yeah. awesome to see Tom come different. in 
with the everybody thinks I'm going to play something. I'm going to go totally, t- totally switch it up. Yeah. And count on my opponent just not being ready for whatever weird jank I'm playing. And he hit both decks perfectly. Mm hmm. You know, like even if Tom, I mean, even if Mike had had a Hujix there, like, what are you going to do? Yeah. Tom, so, Tom's got a. Okay. Uh, really presence. quick before we go, first person in the chat who can tell me what Tom's total power would have been if he played the Dark Jedi Presence will win a pair of, uh, will win a two of the starting effect. Uh, anger, fear, and aggression, knowledge, and defense uh, uh, sleeves from J- uh, Jared Napolitano. All right. I think that's the answer. Well, you can't win because you're streaming. <laughs> I didn't have any... I didn't have any foreknowledge of that. Okay, so... so easiest way to do oh. it is yeah, the total of power and then minus it seven. So whatever he had, double it, then minus seven. Or no, well, it'd be minus seven. 10. Because you can't, you didn't double, you wouldn't double the battle destiny either. Yeah. So he was at 27. He was at 27, minus it, minus six. Minus for, seven. Well. Or minus eight, you're right, because four so, lines an eight. So it's 19. So double 19 is 38. Plus the seven is 45. Plus his destiny Plus of three. Three from Battle Destiny would have been forty-eight. So I was one off because I forgot uh, Forlom was one less power. Uh, <laughs> okay, well Chris Kelly says forty-eight. So Chris, you get to name somebody in the chat to give them away too, unless you. Uh, uh, so that, that was uh, that was a quick game either way. That was, way. That really was fun. To... Like I, I was going to say, I was going to have a better uh, question to give these away to. <laughs> But yeah, I, I don't. This just went super quick. So is Tom gonna do? Uh, you're gonna have Tom on Hollow Theater now, like two weeks in a row. Possibly, yeah. Just, or I'm trying to know, get Andy Talaga on this week to talk about the retro event. Yeah, that just started yesterday and looked like there were already some games going. I'm. I'm looking forward to playing in that. Like I, I remember playing back in that era and it's such a different, different feeling game at times. You know, you're not going to see a, a, a beat down like that on turn, turn two like yeah. you did. Cause you're just not going to see nearly as much activation going nuts so it'll be a fun uh fun event if you're not signed up for it yet there's still time to sign up and the money all goes to the sean valdez uh pediatric cancer charity which is one of the lasting things we've gotten from decipher Mm -hmm. decipher did that back in the day and it's something i'm proud the pc has continued to support and yeah i agree push it's awesome and you know more star wars is good you know plus there's no ocs this month much to tom's chagrin so (laughs) you need something to do you do but i think we're uh probably about out here like it yeah we have a lot to talk about that second game that went pretty quick that went a lot congratulations to imagined so and uh, congrats to tom for going with couple kind of crazy off meta decks that just locked out mike completely yeah so, so. again congrats to tom our 22nd seed maybe batmas will rate him a little higher next year maybe like 2021 20, i mean i think you got to give him a top 15 at this point yeah i think so like i mean you gotta give him a little bit but that's between him and uh kieran yeah, you gotta move him up a little bit. Kieran clearly in the top forty-five. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Kieran might even make top twenty-five. 
Like he he did make top four this year, so we probably know. you know. But I mean, so did Batmouse. Like, can we justify Batmouse ranking uh, himself higher? I mean, not without giving him a lot of crap about you know getting a big head over this whole thing. Like, yeah, that that would be that'd be a shame. I, I mean, it'd be unfortunate if we have to make fun of Batmouse, but <laughs> I mean, we do what we must. So yes, one hundred percent. But thank every uh, all thank right. you all for watching. That has been the Gem PC twenty twenty three edition. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you guys next year uh, for another uh, fun event. Uh, make sure you guys uh, sign up for the retro event. Uh, go out there and play Star Wars in person this week, as it is the in, uh, Star uh, Play Star Wars in public event going on until the thirtieth. And uh, yeah, uh, got a lot of stuff going on in the game. So, so oh, excuse me. Thanks everyone <laughs> for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, uh, and uh, we'll see you guys later. All right. Okay, sir, we are...